Hey guys, how y'all doing today? Well, I'm back out here on this little ATV, little Chinese unit. I did a close-up of the identification tag on there so I can kind of get an idea of exactly what I'm looking at so I can go back to that LawnsonEngines.com website and it'll give me an actual wiring diagram which I haven't done that yet but that's the plan and other than that we're still trying to find out why I can't get a spark I got a comment from uh, Sam the guy that brought me those little Lonson 110 engines here a while back he told me that on the ones that he's had that uh, he couldn't get a spark unless he had his foot on the foot brake well this particular unit doesn't have a foot brake but it does have a hand brake and I've got that engaged you have to have that engaged in order for the starter to work so anyway that's far as I've gotten so far a lot of guys have said check all the safety switches which I'm really not sure what safety switches there would be there's either a run and kill switch there's a dead man switch on it which I've bypassed and there's a remote control unit which you can turn it off and I'm thinking I may get in there see if I can't unplug that module because that may be the culprit I think it may have gotten turned off on the remote control and it still may be triggered off on the machine they did not bring that with them when they brought it over though so anyway I'm gonna dig into it and see what I can find out and I'll get back to you and let you know all right Boy, they really make it a piece of work to get this plastics off of here. You have to take the handlebars off. You have to take this loose so you can pull it forward. Oh my. All kinds of other little nuts and bolts that are difficult and tedious to get to. Just so you can get to the electronics. And there it is. They sure are ugly once you get them stripped down. All right, now I can start investigating. Okay, so I'm trying to make heads or tails out of this thing. Now that I can get to the wiring components and stuff. And this lead that goes to the handlebar switch has got eight different ports on it. And without a wiring diagram to really know what I'm looking at, it's hard to know what I'm looking at. So I'm looking on here for identification information, which I got that off the side panel, and it says made by Yong Tang Wangi Tool Manufacturing, something to that effect. And uh, I looked on the website, and they didn't list it like that for the wiring diagram. And all the wiring diagrams I see on there don't show a handlebar switch with that many ports on it. So I thought, well, let's come back out here and look, see, if, look on the frame, and see if we can find a different identification label of actually who the manufacturer is. Apparently. They're all Chinese, and they're all Lonsen engines. However, apparently they're put together by different people that have different ideas about how they should be wired. What I did find out that is got me thinking one thing is I tested the coil itself, and I didn't get good feedback out of that. I think I'm going to go ahead and unbolt it and take it all the way out and test it more thoroughly. But I got the dead man switch tested out fine. And uh, other than that, so far, I just, I just don't know which way to go with it. I don't want to order parts and just start replacing parts because it might be something right here, you know, that I can fix. So anyway, that's the update. Um... I gotta figure out a way to put all those body panels and stuff in the shop for now before it gets too dark and I can't see. Put all them screws back somewhere where I know where they go. That kind of stuff. 
And then if I have any time left over before it gets dark, I got about an hour I think of daylight left. So I gotta, you know, use my time wisely. But uh alright, so that's what's up then. And if I come across any more great revelations, I'll be sure to let you know. Oh yeah, one more thing. The battery was too weak again. It sat for just a couple days after I charged it up the other day. Turned off. It was plugged in, but it was turned off. And I come back out here today and it was less than 12 volts. It wouldn't, it would click, you know, but it wouldn't turn it over. So, yeah. Yeah, that's it for now. Unless something more exciting happens, I'm going to call that it for today. But, uh, at least now I've got it to where I can get down to it. And I'm probably going to have to do some research. Anyway, I'll talk with you guys later. And, uh, y'all take care and be good. If you got any bright ideas about these things other than what you've already told me, go ahead and drop me a comment, you know. I'd like to hear from you. Alright, thanks. I'll see you guys. Bye-bye. It's trying to fire. I got spark plow. Then. That was interesting. All I did was unplug the uh, the remote control kill box, and as I was thinking, had they brought that over with them when they dropped this off, I think they may have had that turned on so that it killed the machine, and therefore it wouldn't start without them realizing it. The problem is. Since I still don't have that over here, I can't test that theory to see. And so if I put the plastics back on it and zip tie all the wires back up like they go, they won't be able to reach in there and plug it back together. <laughs> you know what I mean? And taking the plastics off is a pain in the keister. But anyway, I'm sure they'll be glad to hear that I got it running. 
and uh, yeah I'm sure they will be I'm just I guess I'll go ahead and put the plastics back on it and see if I can't dangle those down far enough to where they can plug it in son of a gun all right well you hoo woo hoo all righty Oh yeah, by the way, apparently I was wrong about testing that spark plug out. That is the spark plug that came over here with it. So, uh, yeah, now we know. All right. Don't you love it when that last little thing you try before you call it a day works? Your whole day turns around. The attitude of your whole day just does a 180 flip-flop. Uh, I was kind of bummed and thinking, oh man, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, you know, cover it back up and think about it. I just got to find some cable ties and put them wires back in there kind of to where they should be and put the plastics back on there. I might have enough time to do that before it gets dark. I don't know. Anyway, I know I won't if I stand here talking to you. So I'm going to do that and I'll talk to you guys later. All right. Cheers. Thanks for coming by. Appreciate you guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.